In this video, you're going to learn everything that you need to know about promises in JavaScript. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end to learn everything about them. Okay, so let's first define what a promise is. A promise is a JavaScript object that may produce a single value in the near future. So it's basically like a real life promise. The function here is going to promise you that in the near future, whenever the code is finished, it's going to notify you and give you the result. So now in our example here, we have created a promise which receives a function of resolve and reject. Now, one thing that you should remember is that uh, promises have three possible states. They can be either fulfilled or rejected, or they can be pending. So whenever we call our promise here, it's going to start in a pending state. And we have simulated here with a timer that after three seconds, it's going to be resolved. And this resolved is going to change the state of our promise to fulfill. Now, whenever you want to do something with the result that you're getting from your promise, you can use a dot then, which is going to execute after your code has been resolved. So here we have called our promise and we have called dot then, and we receive a function here, which receives a value. This value is our resolve state here. So whenever we run this, it's going to print coding SRC after three seconds. As you can see, after three seconds, we have our result here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see how we can handle our rejected states of promises. Now, the first way to do that is to call the promise and type dot then and provide not only one function, but provide two functions. So basically, the first function is going to handle the resolve state of your promise. And the second function is going to handle the rejected state of your promise. So here we're going to execute this on fulfilled and here this function is going to be called whenever we reject our promise. So let's go ahead and check our promise here. As you can see, first we're comparing those two variables and we're going to resolve them as uh, they are completely identical. So let's run this and as you can see, we have Consult lock our success here. And whenever our strings are not the same, for example, like that, this is going to reject our promise and we're going to print failed. Now, this was one way to handle our rejection state of our promise. The other way is to have a dot catch after our dot then, where we're going to catch the error or basically whatever we provide in our reject function here. So you can use promise.then and this is going to handle your resolve of your promise and you can do whatever you like with it here. You can uh, get the value or the result inside and you can console log it, for example. And whenever you get an error, you're going to catch that error. Now, one last thing that you can attach to your promise is a finally. Now, finally is always going to execute after your promise has been either rejected or resolved. Now, remember how we defined our promise that it can only return one value. Now, here in this example, we have our resolve on the first line after that we reject our promise and after some time we reject it again however our promise can return only one value this is why we're going to resolve our promise here and after that we're going to ignore everything below that so the first resolve or reject that is called in your promise it's going to return the value as a result for that promise now one last thing that i would want to show you is how we can use promise.o and promise.race and what's the difference. You can define multiple promises and after that you can call them with promise.o which is going to execute all the promises and retrieve you the result or you can use promise.race which is going to run all the promises that you have created and it's going to retrieve the result of the first promise that is resolved or rejected. 
basically. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have a promise 1 which is going to resolve after 500 milliseconds. And we have promise 2 which is going to be faster and it's going to resolve after 100 milliseconds. In promise.race we're going to call both of the promises and we're going to receive the value of the fastest promise or promise2 and in promise.o we're going to run all the promises in the background and we're going to receive the values of those promises after all of them have been resolved. So let's go ahead and run this and see what the result is. As you can see we have printed 2 and after that we have an array which comes from promise.o. So this is everything that you need to know about promises and how to use them. If you enjoyed this video click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. See you next time. <music>